talking about. Just what I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Got it! Holy crap! All right, folks, I hooked into a decent bass. He's probably about two and a half, three pounds. Seems like it. Yeah, he is. My goodness. We should have came up here. Begin with. Oh. Oh, my line's wrapped. Gosh. My goodness, I fell. And... I'm going to lose this fish while I don't watch it. My goodness. Yeah, a little beetle spin. There, he's unwrapped. That ain't a bad bass. These rocks give out on you. If you don't watch it, you'll step on one and slide in. Finally, it made the day worth it, guys. I haven't got nothing over four inches until now. <laughs> it's a spotted bass. Oh, yeah. Look, Bobby. Look at that. Yeah. That's a good bass. You want to eat it? You want to? No. Folks, that's a nice spotter, but he's, yeah, he's. We had like three or four of those. Oh, yeah. He's about, I want to say 14 inches, maybe even 15, about two pounds. Kind of thin because he looks like it already spawned. That's a nice little bass. All right, folks, I'm going to get him back in. Finally paid off, and we're not done yet. We might get something. I was just telling him if I don't get nothing in a while, there's two gar right in front of me. If I don't get nothing after a while, I'm going to try worms again, but I don't know now. <laughs> All right. Nice bass. Rooster tail? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, folks, spotted bass. You know I was going to bring my open cast? Oh, yeah. But uh, the problem with my open cast is I got that really big line. Oh, the braided? Yeah, braid. It's not braid. Oh. This ain't braid, but it's like nylon. Down or something. There he is. I'm going to get him. No, it's only uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna snag it. I'm gonna snag it. Oh, I touched him. Now he's coming after it. Got him. Got the gar. Oh, oh we're Jeremy Wading today, guys. It's a spotted gar. Cool. I bumped him on the side with my lure trying to accidentally snag it, and he chased it after that. He, he felt it, and then he chased it down. Oh, yeah. Boy, nice little spotted gar. Stay on there. Stay on there. Cool, man. He's pretty. That's a pretty one. Now I want to see you take a hook out. Yeah. That becomes the problem. And don't flop. I just said don't flop, and you flopped. You're not listening. <laughs> Two fish for two cast on the beetle spin, minus the tree. <laughs> What's your favorite knot? I just do three and four over and over about four or five times. I really like the fisherman fisherman's knot, but I haven't been doing it. Folks, that's a... Yeah. Oh, boy, he's going crazy. Folks, let's get a good look at this spotted gar. What a beaut. Really not hooked that great. 
Oh man, he could have easily came off. <sighs> One bad thing about these, they cut the heck out of your hands. Their scales do. All right, folks. Spotted gar. Beauty. Small one, but he's pretty decent. Yeah. Like an alligator almost. God dang rock. Oh. Yeah, he made it out though. Man, I was going to hold it for a little while more. Goodness gracious. I'm going to have back pain tomorrow now. That hurt. That hurt there. Whoa, my lure came open. He could have easily got off. Now that probably spooked him for a little while. Maybe, just maybe. I gotta watch, see what I mean about stepping. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That hurt, guys. <sighs> Thousands of bugs flying around. I wish I had my... Oh, yes! What do I got? Nether bass! I guess I need to let mine sink lower. Yeah, I can give you something, maybe. I got a yellow one of these. Alright, folks, I just got bass number two. This time on the black and chartreuse beetle spin. Nether spotted. They usually don't... ...be in here that much. It's usually more largemouth. It's a nice little spot, about two... Th Two thirds of a pound. All right. I got. It. Well, I was saying I got a yellow one. You can have if you want. Yellow beetle spin, just like this. They're stacked in here. There's something in the right in the center of this hole that your lure bumps every time. And you almost get hung on it, but not quite. Crappie! Yes! Oh, not a bad one either. He's eight inches, guys. Man, I was, oh, didn't get to hold him once again. About 10 feet back from me, you'll feel it bump something if you go down too far. It's like a tree or something. Oh, okay. Finally got my crappie and didn't even get to hold it for you guys. Fell off. I've had that happen about six times today. For it. I'm reeling it in slower for you. And you're being stubborn now. I see how it is. There he is. Oh my gosh. It's not a crappie. <laughs> Okay, grab the, uh, I would grab the one with a worm on it. You'll just have to cut it off. Folks, this is just as good as that first fish was up here. Another two pounder, maybe not quite. It's decent. Another spotted bass. My goodness, I was just about to change my lure. He was barely on there. All right, another nice one. Ooh, and this one's got something wrong with its tail. Look at that big old sore on it. He's actually just the same exact size as the one I caught earlier. This one's fatter. Nice bass. All right. Not too shabby. Whoever says beetle spins are for kids' lures, uh, obviously haven't used them enough because they're good lures. wasn't now I know for a fact that the first fish was not that it was a crappie no I doubt he's gonna want it now after there's I think we need to come back here with minnows minnow and bobber and two poles each and just have them all sitting out and staring at them <laughs> got another one right in front of me Goodness gracious, guys. Man. Now this one's only 13 inches, guys, but he's freaking fat as can be. Prego. I got a Prego. My God, they're real. it is a, definitely a best day. 
Look how fat that one is. <laughs> Alright, this one's about 13 inches, 12, 13. I'm going to change my battery one more time. That sun is going down and they are going nuts. Spotted bass number three. Ended up being a good day. Alright. This lure's been through some hell. <laughs> it's about to fall off every time I cast it. What happened to your reel anyway? It just got uh, uh, on the inside, underneath that metal thing that spins it up. It got wound up on. And uh oh, it, it's nothing major. Got him. What the hell? Another bass. I switched lures because my. Yeah, I got the other one pulled up. Now that's a real large mouth. All right. Not big, but not bad. I can give you one of these uh, if you want one. It's a little three inch pink, two and a half inch pink worm. Bright pink. All right, folks. Largemouth bass, uh, two thirds of a pound again. Not too bad. All right, let's get him back in. Well, if we were starving, we would have survived, I guess. Oh, God. All right, Jeremiah finally. I think he's got a large mouth. Yep, he's got a bass. All right. Hey, I'm glad he got to get something besides those perch. That's not bad at all, man. It's a nice one. All right. He was using the uh, chartreuse and white road runner. Oh, yeah, he's 12 at least. 12 incher. Yes. All right, hold him up for us real quick. Good job, man. Yeah, look at that. I'll zoom in a little bit. I love that. He finally got a bass. I, After 12 he had hours. some technical difficulties with his pole a minute ago. Luckily, I brought a spare. Or I think he would have had to go back to the truck. And uh, I let him use one of mine. Boy, this is dangerous right here, I'm telling you. Where do you end up getting him? Huh. Oh, I'm trying way back in there. Right away. As soon as it hit the water. Boy, he's got, whoa, man, he got off. What, did you see him just going completely sideways and rushing over there? How did he get off? I didn't set the hook quite good enough, I guess. Man, he's back in that little cove stream anymore. We're five miles south of the line. It's considered boot heel right here, even though it's really not in the boot. There he was again. He gave me a second chance in that cove. I gotta keep him up so he don't get in that snag. This one's about like 11. He might be bigger than what I think. No, he's pretty small. Folks, we ended up having a good evening. There's nothing like fishing after work on a best fishing day. I told him that on the way here. I said, it's a full moon and a best fishing day. And that really makes the difference. If it was poor right now, they wouldn't be hitting a lure at all. You gotta go on them right days, guys. It might be only four or five times a month. And the conditions were just right today. This is really our, only our second humid day we've had. It's finally humid. The bugs are out in full force now. But that water's probably warmed up 10 degrees in the last week because it's been in the upper 80s. I know. I think I know where I'm going to cast. Oh, don't tell me that. Ooh, man. That's tough to get. Oof. I'll give you one of these. Fly right up my nose. All right, Jeremiah's got a crappie. Nice one. All right, we got to get a good view of you here. 
Hey, I'll cool. be able to send you pictures from. Uh, on there. I'll put the pictures on my computer, and I can take a picture of. Oh gosh. Whoa, that was a close one. See, I just had a crappie too, and it was short striking me because this lure's too big for it. This one's uh, jaw is ripped right here. I think it's the one you just caught. Oh, okay. It is about the same size. Hey, you got to get something different, man. Yes. Hey, hold, hold on. Oh. Sorry. All right, Jeremiah caught a black crappie. He's about seven or eight inches. Yes, seven or eight. On the road runner. Good job, man. Long, long on my hand. Yeah. We ended up having a good day for sure now. Ended up getting a variety. And I just had a bite at the same time you did, so there's more than one, but he's, I think this lure's too big for its mouth. You got a chance at another one. Barely hanging. Let it, oh yeah. Let it fall about five seconds and do like I'm doing, real slow, and it, right in the middle is where they're biting. It's usually right as soon as I catch. Besides what we was getting. Y'all, y'all, I showed her how to get here on paper. Yep, in the very back. I almost hit the grass back there. It was in the very back of that. It's another bass, isn't it? All right, folks, we got, I managed to, me and him each got one last fish. We might get one more. We keep saying one last cast, kind of like when women are at the mall and they say, just five more minutes. That's what men do with fishing. Now, this is a... my wife, man. She's like, one more cast. I love my wife. She's a she's a real tomboy. Got a, a tomboy little spotted bass. Go get dressed up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's the kind that wants to go catch her. That's yeah. awesome though, yeah. Blood sandwich. Uh uh. You got one? Oh. Just think how many fish is in here that we didn't get to see. Jeremiah's got a nice crappie. Look at that gar right in front of you too. That's a big crappie, man. Good job, man. That's a, that's a, oh my God, that's the biggest one I've ever seen out of here. Oh my God. Yes. Whoa. Look Jeremiah that. just caught a 12 inch crappie out of this little tiny creek. What is that? That is that's a crappie. 12 inch white look crappie. Look how much. Look at its back. Weird, it's got a chunk missing. It's got a half of its fin missing. Look how much. Oh my God. That's the one that was coming, I Is bet. camera on? Yes. Jeremiah just got a 12 inch white crappie. Beautiful, man. Inspect that back. Look at that. Yeah, it's Look got a humpback. It's a humpback crappie, like a whale. Man, that made our day definitely worth it right there. He got a crappie bigger than I've ever caught out of here. I've never got one over eight inches. He's 12. Oh yeah, look how big it is. I bet you wish you would have kept them now. Look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man. Ain't you glad we didn't leave yet? <laughs> yeah, kids, shut up. See? A couple more casts now. <laughs> you got the best fish of the day, really, in my opinion. I'd rather catch a 12-inch crappie than a 3-pound bass. Man, I love that. I could tell just by the way he was coming in that it was a, oh, not... Because the little crappie, they'll come up and ski across the top. He stayed down. God, you barely had him. Whew. That's why I hate they, they got them paper thin mouths. And if you set the hook too hard, you'll rip it right out. But you don't know if you got a bass or a crappie, so you don't know what to do. Yeah.